Pastor. My name is Derek, and today I'm going to show you guys how to lower your ping in pretty much anything you do, whether that be a game, whether that be a program, whether that be anything, any server you're connected to, anything that's going to you know, use internet, it's going to lower your ping. Now, you want to go to your browser and go to 1.1.1.1 to your browser. The link will also be in the description. You can just click on that. It'll be a lot faster. Once you're here, use whatever uh, software you have. So if you're on your phone, you can use your phone. But for me, I'm going to use Windows. So I'm going to click on Windows, install that. And once that's installed, do it. Go, go through the installation process. And then once it's installed, it's going to go down here and go into your Cloudflare it's going to be called Cloudflare on the bottom right. It's going to look like a cloud. Now, you're going to see I have Warp Plus. I'll show you how to get to that in a second or how to get that in a second. Um, but before we do that, I do want to show you if the, like what this does with my ping. So I'm going to open up my Fortnite right now. And I'm going to show you what my ping is in the settings. Because in the settings, that is the ping that you're going to get to servers most likely, right? Um, people say that's not a good way to test it, whatever. But in my opinion... The ping that you get when you're in game, like when you're in the setting or in this uh, in the settings in game on the top left, that ping is not very reliable because it's fluctuating and it's usually off by like 15. All right, whatever ping you get in your settings is the ping you're usually usually getting. Uh, you can run trace routes if you want to test as well. So to do that, all you got to do is look up Ep Epic Games um, trace route. Once you have this, go to this website and then just run these trace routes that are on. Um, these so like east just run these trace routes if you play west run those trace routes europe tra run this trace route what this will do it will it will test the ping out to your servers out to the server um and it will also save it in a file right here okay pretty simple um it, it'll take probably about a couple minutes to do it though it does take a while you can also if you want to you could just trace route this and remove this and you can see the actual time, like real time. Here, I'll, I'll even show you what it looks like when I when I do a trace route. So if we do this trace route, you're gonna see we're gonna get we're gonna get ping, right? We're, it's gonna ping stuff over and over and over again, as you can see, until we get to the actual server. Okay. So now in Fortnite, if we go to our Fortnite, go to our settings, going to our Ping, you can see I get 53 ping to the east servers, or not 53, 33 ping to east servers, 53 to west, um, and then so on and so forth. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to restart our game. We're going to open up Cloudflare. We're going to run the Cloudflare with warp on, okay, and do the exact same test to see what ping we get. So now we're back in our game. We go to settings, and you can see my ping is at 21 instead of the number that it was at before, which was. 33 and you can see my west went up my europe went down um it doesn't really matter what these other ones say because i'm only playing on east honestly i've never got that low before so now i've tested my ping with coffler on without it on and you can see the big difference that i got about 13 or 12 ping difference now what we're going to do is the first thing we want to do is go to your browser and download python now we're what this we're going to do now is we are going to try to get not try we are going to get more gigabytes because you can't get cloudflare um, premium without getting gigabytes so you're going to need you need gigabytes right here so um you can see i have 115 gigabytes and i'll sh i'm going to show you how we get this to go this will work so what you want to do is download python right here download this once that's downloaded i want to go to this github link and do the same thing and download this zip folder right here okay so i'm going to download this save that Right, you can see there's even like a uh, tutorial in here if you want to follow this tutorial right here. Um, but now what we're going to do is we're going to right click on a shoulder folder. Right click, extract 7-zip. We can delete that zip folder. Now we go to this folder here. Go to this up to the top. Type, on, type CMD. And just open up the CMD in that directory. And now you can just drag in this file right here. Press enter. It will then ask you for your warp plus ID. Now to find your warp plus ID, um, it gets a little tricky with this part because you can't actually find it on with using the application on your on your um, computer. So you might have to download it on your phone. So if you go to your phone, I'm not gonna sh screen share my phone, but I'll just show you like where to go. So if we have one dot one installed on our computer on our phone, right? Wait for it to load up. Taking a little. Here we go. Go to settings, go to advanced, go to diagnostics, and then down here under client configuration, you're going to see an ID. 
right? And now I'm gonna type the ID. The ID will probably be blurred out on your screen, but just keep in mind that this is an ID that is used. Now, this is the War Plus ID. I'm gonna press enter here. There we go. And it's gonna prepare it and start running the script. It's gonna prepare, it's gonna work on it. It says one gig has been added to your account. Now to make sure this actually works, what I recommend doing is turning notifications on your phone, right? And then seeing if it connects. Now you most likely have two different licenses from your phone and from your computer. So make sure you just transfer your key from your phone over to the one that you have on your computer. And it just, I just got a pop-up says you just got one gigabyte of free Warp Plus data. Someone just accepted your referral. All it is is just doing referrals and it's just, it's good. So you're, you're gonna get consistent and more and more and more um, gigabytes as you go on. So you can disable notifications once you know that it's working and then just let this sit. Let this sit until you get probably like 50 gigabytes. What I do recommend, if you're just using this for games, just you only turn it on when you are playing games. Make sure you turn it off when uh, you, you watch a stream or a YouTube video because those use a lot of gigabytes and a lot of data. So make sure those are turned off or it's turned off while you're watching those things. Um, but anyways, that's all you gotta do. I'm just gonna close my account. I don't need my thing running. That's all you gotta do. You get free gigabytes and you get internet right there. Faster speeds, or not faster speeds, but faster ping, better ping. Um, anyways, if you guys have any trouble, any questions, anything, um, let me know in the comments. All the links of everything that I posted today um, or showed you today are gonna be in the description for you to download them. But anyways, I hope you liked the video and uh, peace out.